it says we're live. We're live! Hello, Hello everyone. Welcome. Usually I can see what, what we're doing, but I can't now. I can just see Adam. <laughs> so, so, you know. Welcome, Spotlight fans. Uh, it let us know if, if and when you can see us by either commenting on Facebook or YouTube. Yes. That lets us know that we're live and that you're able to hear us. I have decided that with all this coronavirus, I invented a word called uh, Zoom primping, which is that first 30 seconds of... Zoom primping? Yeah, that first 30 seconds of every call where you like make sure your hair's okay, your mic is good, <laughs> everything is um, functioning as it should. Um, yes, I, sh I, I should say that. if this is working... And you can put a different background up. Exactly. Get all that stuff set. You can can't... I actually start with anything. Can you give me a background so I'm in space? <laughs> no. I'm nervous this is going to crash. <laughs> I just want to let people know that, hey, oh, no. we g hi. Do we have people? We have someone on YouTube. Vishnu Hello, B. YouTube. Nair. Vishnu B. Oh, Nair says hi. Oh, good. Wonderful. Have, okay, I'm trying... I'm looking down now, but it's because I'm trying to find your comments. Oh, Vishnu says hi. Yep. I'm our Elmer says salam. Here can say I'm not really sure uh, that one. Ginny says hi. Uh, wow, we're getting a lot of uh, yes. a lot of people now. That's great. Hello, everyone. Hello. Well, we should introduce ourselves to those people who might be new to Spotlight. I am Adam. Liz, I'll let you introduce and yourself. I'm Liz. Uh, and I'm Liz Wade. Yes. <laughs> Spotlight uses a special English method of broadcasting. <laughs> and you can probably hear the rest. <laughs> well, if you are just you know to, the rest. If you are new to Spotlight, we like to do these Spotlight live sessions uh, about once a month where we answer your questions, say hello, and talk about what's going on with the Spotlight community and <laughs> Obviously, and with us. And with us. Normally, we like to be together, but like everything we... Everyone else in the world. We are not together. Yeah. Uh, last time we did a live, we asked what was happening with uh, COVID-19 or coronavirus in your country. And uh, yeah, we talked about what was happening in our country. We are still, we're both located in Michigan, in the United States, and um, we are both under, uh, what, what is it? It's not lockdown exactly. Uh, Self-quarantine, self-isolation. Yeah, but, uh, well, no, there's a term for it. Uh, shelter in place. Yes. Is that what we're still on? Shelter in place. So, so everyone uh, is supposed to stay home. You can only go get groceries if you really need them. Um, hair cutting places and um, at, like lots of things are closed. I can't think yeah. of any other uh, other ones. But, gyms, um, places people like to exercise. Uh, yeah, schools, gyms. places of worship. Yeah. So yeah. So everything is closed, and everyone is supposed to just stay home. We can leave the house to exercise or go for walks or go to the park. Mm -hmm. So in some countries, I think people are not allowed to do that. Um, yes. I think that they have to stay inside. I have some uh, people I know in the country of Turkey, and they have some restrictions on, I think if you're under 18, you can't go out at all, or over 60 or 65, you can't go out at all. Interesting. Um, so the, each country um, is having different um, reactions and rules based on their decisions and based on how the virus is moving. Yeah. Um, let's say some uh, hellos. On YouTube, we've got Shahan says, please carry on. Very nice job. Good program. Thank you. Oh, Atesh, um, Atesh corrected me. He's from, or she is from Turkey uh, and says it's 20. I said 18. Oh, under 20. Yes. Gotcha. Nice. Um, hi from Kurdistan. Wow, that's awesome. 
Um, let's see, what else have we got here? Hello from Haiti. Hi from Ecuador, from Carlos. Uh, Rigoberto says hello, I think. Um, let's see. Oh, hello from Cambodia and Paraguay. Pa Paraguay? 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 Para Paraguay? Mexico City. So, speaking of, let's, while Liz keeps looking at those, one of the things <laughs> that, uh, as Spotlight voicers, when we do the programs, we often talk about how do we say the names of countries? Do we... Yes, that is a big question. It's a big question. Like, for instance, this isn't the country, but the city of Paris. Do we say Paris or do we say Paris? Um, <laughs> or uh, in Germany, there's Berlin or Berlin. Right. So we want to demonstrate how native English speakers would say it, but we also want to say the name properly. And be respectful, and be respectful of, of that of, culture of, and country. Yeah. Um, so it, it is a difficult thing to sometimes sort out, as they say. Adam, I don't think we're on uh, Facebook. Hmm. Well. So, sorry, Facebook. Sorry, Facebook. Ugh. What are you going to do? Well, we try. Yeah, I can't. I'm okay. not going to stop it. And Sorry, I'm readjusting it. here. Good. I'm in an uncomfortable spot, I think. So, Liz, okay. I think people yeah. want to know how are you handling uh, your self, your shelter in place? Are, are you finding new hobbies? Are you finding, um, are you revisiting well, old ones? Not new hobbies, but um, I have been, um, I have a sewing machine. And I have some fabric, and I had some elastic, and even some metal. And so you can probably guess what I have been making with those things. Um, I've been making masks. So oh. I have been sewing some masks. I wish I had one here to show you. Um, but so I make the mask that goes over your nose and, like, around here. And, yeah. That's cool. I have probably made... Uh, 70 or 80 wow. masks. Just for yourself? No. <laughs> yes. I put them on uh, one after the other, and then I go out with my face this big. <laughs> no. Oh, good. Um, Katie, Katie is on Facebook, so fa it is going to Facebook. Oh, good. Okay. Um, no, uh, I have been giving the masks away. So oh. I, um, I donated some to a local college. Mm-hmm. I donated some to um, like neighbors and I gave a big pile of them to my sister who has been giving them to people that she knows. So that has been keeping me very busy along with all of the other things right. that we're doing right now. Right. So uh, yeah, uh, you should say Adam, but let's give an opportunity or what you're doing, yeah. but let's give an opportunity. What are you doing? Uh, People looking at this, people watching, what are you doing during this quarantine? Yeah. Are you keeping busy? Are you watching TV? Are you are being you really buff things? and doing exercise? Yeah. I have it's been... Like, well, uh, who was that? You wrote a program about, oh, Charles Atlas. Ah, uh, yes. He didn't use any nope. equipment. Isometric right? exercise, pulling his muscles against each other, pushing, pulling. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, maybe exactly. maybe you're following uh, Charles Atlas's example and you're getting really buff without exactly. equipment even. So, exactly. yeah, so write it in the comments. We'll read those. Adam, what yes. are you doing during quarantine? Well, I have been watching a lot of YouTube tutorials. Uh, YouTube is a great place to learn almost anything. So I have yeah. been doing some 3D modeling on the computer and I have been <laughs> uh, just exploring my various curiosities. I've also been doing some organizing. So uh, one of the things that I can't... Organizing? Came... Yes, organizing of my house or clothes oh, or I see. whatever. And I came across this. I wanted to share it with everybody. Look at that. <laughs> who, who is that little guy? Is that you? That is me. <laughs> That's probably grade four right there. You haven't changed a bit. You look exactly the same. Adam. I know. Look at those <laughs> no, glasses. No, the other way, yeah. That would have been, 
I don't know, 1992, maybe? Oh, man. I wish no, that... No, earlier uh, than that. I wish 90? that you had told me you were going to take out that photo, and I would have had a photo of me as well. I just had it laying here. Next time. We'll, we'll, get, some, we'll get some various <laughs> aged photos of us. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. You, um, you had a lot more hair. I had hair. I had I just had hair. That's yeah. That was it. Yeah, but that was probably you're wearing almost the same shirt. I think I have that shirt still. Not that exact <laughs> one, but one similar. I'm a simple nice. man. I'm a simple man. Um. So yeah, I've been doing that. Um. Wash hands. Wash hands. Wash hands. That's what. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Where is you? So Cam asks, where was your hair? Um. <laughs> You know, I won the genetic lottery, so everyone can't, like Liz cannot go get her hair cut right now. I yeah. am fortunate that I take care of my own hair. Well, Adam, I only get a haircut like once a year. <laughs> so I already got my haircut last December. I don't really need it again for at least like eight months. Here's the question, people, that I'm going to put to you. Should Liz cut her hair? Yes. Yeah, that's not true. Okay, so uh, Santosh says, don't waste time. <laughs> Talk about some important things. Well, okay. let's crack on Just then. Just for you. Okay, so important things. Important things. Uh, we were talking about quarantine, and a couple of people said uh, that, uh, let's see, somebody said that, they would be in quarantine four days, I think, in Turkey. So uh, from that point, I don't see any other about um, answers to questions. Somebody says, I'm keeping busy homeschooling. MacArthur says that. Yes, uh, kids who still need to go to school but uh, or learn things but cannot go to school now. Mm. Um, let's see. Uh, you don't need to spend money buying shampoo. That's for you, Adam. That's true. Beatrice. That's true. Um, yeah. Okay. So important things, Adam. Yes. We had some things to talk about that actually were very important. Yes. You want to start talking about, uh, one of those things? Um, well, we have some big things coming that we have told people about. But maybe announcements. You, big announcements that we have hinted at. But if you didn't watch our last Spotlight Live, you might not have caught. We have a new website coming. If you don't, um, if you only visit the Facebook page or the YouTube channel, we have a great website right now, but we are going to improve it starting in about a month, June 1. Yeah, June 1st. June 1st, there's a new website coming. It's going to be uh, easier for you to find programs that you like, easier for you to find recommended programs. There'll be some categories or playlists. Um, you will be able to read along with the script uh, of what we're... Like we do now. Of what, like we do now. Um, and it will just be a great... It'll be an easier, um, it'll be better designed. There'll be better pictures. Um, yeah, it will. Uh, sometimes people say that our website looks a little bit old. Um, and I think that's a fair criticism. Mm -hmm. So something that people think is not great. Um, so this new website will look very different mm -hmm. and that can be sometimes a little scary for people so uh yeah it's a big change yep. but um i also know that our website often crashes and yes. then our app doesn't work and our website doesn't work and then i get a lot of emails from people and this new website will not crash right so that is extra exciting yes so there will be changes to the app. Um, if you don't have the app, you should go get the app. The spot, the official, the official Spotlight app. There are many apps out there yes. that claim to be the Spotlight app, but they just—I don't want to—I don't want to be negative, 
Yeah. But they take our material. They take our programms. They steal the material. <laughs> yes. They steal the material. Oh, is that negative? No, yeah. it's the truth. That's a fact. It is the truth. They do not have permission to do that. Yeah. So you, if you, um, if you have the app, please make sure you're using our official app. Yes. That really helps us. And that you leave a review. Um, let's see. I had some comments here that I wanted to highlight. Uh, somebody said, what is the page in Facebook? So it is facebook.com slash spotlight radio. So you can type that in. Uh, try not to touch my face. Yeah. Um, you can type that in on Facebook and see, yeah, yeah our Facebook page. Yeah. Um, and uh, we have a hi from Akram in Iraq. Uh, oh, Rashad asked a question. Uh-oh, it went away now. Um, if I walk in my area, is it a problem? That is something, I, I for quarantine purposes, I think. I think they're still trying to answer that question. It all depends on how many people are in the area. Yeah. If you walk in a big city versus a, a out in the country where you it's just flowers and trees. Yeah. It'd be a different answer. It is crazy. Oh, oh, here's a good English question, okay? And then I'll and then I'll stop for a little bit. What is the difference between mind and brain? Oh. Mind <laughs> And Interesting, brain. right? So th we know that the brain is a part of the body. The brain is where... It's an organ. It's an organ in your, in your head where that controls uh, what your body does and how your body feels. Um, it's a big mystery to scientists in a lot of ways. Yeah. Um, it actually uses the probably the large amount of energy and calories that you eat is used by your brain. Your mind is sometimes used, people in regular conversation use the same word, but it also is more of like your thoughts and your self. And your feelings your and feelings. your opinions and things yeah. like that. It's not something physical that you can touch like your brain. Yeah. Well, you can't really touch your brain. Yeah. But, right? Ooh, Santosh has a very good answer. Says mind is psychology and brain is physiology. Excellent word use of those language. Yeah. Yeah. So, so mind is uh thinking and brain is physical like your body. Right. Yeah. Yes, very, very good. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, and an English question. Okay, so we were talking about the website. Yes. And how that is going to change. Yes. What else? So people, and this is, we are going to change our production schedule. Now, this is a change which does, it's a little hard for Liz and it's a little hard for me to accept and to understand it you have to understand that Spotlight began as a radio program. Yes. And so it was a there was a broadcast schedule of five programs each week. We are changing that to Well Go ahead. And I wonder if people still hear it on the radio. It's possible. Maybe. There are Maybe some, some of radio our radio stations still hear it on the radio. Uh so we are we are we have obviously things have changed with social media with youtube and so we're investing in those platforms which means that we're just changing uh how we share our programs um so you if you come to us through youtube and you you're new to the program you might you still will have a large number of programs to work through but if you've listened to all the programs you're going to just get one program each week um, that we feature. However, we are also hoping to provide additional resources. We're still more, more resources. <laughs> uh, they could be things like the Spotlight Live. 
They could be a conversation, additional content about the program. Um, this is where we're still figuring all that out. About Adam. Yes. I have a comment you are going to love Ooh. from pra Prasant, Prasant Kumar, who says, how to choose the topic for making the video. Oh. So, I know, do you know what I'm thinking? I don't. <laughs> we have a way uh, for people to do two things. Help us choose oh. content and help support Spotlight. Yes. So, so go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, um, we have always been a free program. And uh, as long as we... As far as we can see, we will always be a free program. Yes. Always on, on YouTube, on Facebook, on podcasts. We will always be and we, a free English practice program. We know that there are thousands, if not millions of people who need free resources to learn English. Yes. Right. But um, sometimes we have people ask, how can we support Spotlight? Or um, can I get more Spotlight content or different Spotlight resources or things like that? And now we do have a way for you to help Spotlight, to help support Spotlight, but also to uh, help us make Spotlight and to get, uh, to get more content from Spotlight. So Adam, how so is that? I have put the website on the screen. It is patreon.com slash spotlight English. Um, this is a great way. It's, a, it's an established way that people on YouTube and Facebook and creative people can ask the people that they're serving, you, to help support us. The entry level is just $2 a month. If you cannot afford $2 a month, just give us your love. That's all we want. We don't need, we don't want to add any stress or worry to your life. But if you want to su help support us for $2 a month, that would be wonderful. We're going to cr keep creating extra content there. You can vote on what programs you would like to see. We'll show you kind of how we how we decide what to write programs, maybe our process. Um, we'll keep adding those extras and um, putting things there. There might be uh, exclusive um, conversations with Liz or me, um, but we just want to give that opportunity for whoever, whoever wants to do that. I, I'm really yeah, excited. And we awesome. would love... We would love, so far we have not pushed this out. So there are zero people supporting us right now. Because it's brand new. Brand new. We have not. It is absolutely new. We have not announced it or put it out there. Um, so you could be the first person to support us. Who, <laughs> I don't know who it will be, but. Who will it be? I would love by the end of this to announce that at least one, maybe 10 people have decided to support us. Um. And we have a lot of value in there, a lot of free stuff that we're going to be giving away to that Patreon community. Yeah. Okay, so two things. Yes. First, um, I'm seeing that my echo is very bad in the video. Okay. So apologies. I am really sorry. Uh, we had kind of a lot of trouble setting this video up. So we are... Um, we are going to revisit the word bootleg, which we normally say in our uh, our live videos. We are a bootleg operation, so yes. we are trying our best, but maybe uh, this time, I'm really sorry yeah. for the echo. And second of all, Ibrahim really wants a shout out. So, hello, Ibrahim hello. on YouTube. We see you. Yes. Hello, welcome. And we can't uh, we can't let a spotlight live go by without saying that 
we really do have the best uh, listeners. We, we appreciate all of you. Um, we make this program because we know that you need it because you tell us you love it. And we really, we just, we j yes, we enjoy making it, but we also enjoy hearing from you uh, what programs you liked, how you've changed in your yeah. English. So thank you. Um, Akram has a suggestion. Why don't you make All right, we're back on. We were just talking about how, how this is bootleg. Okay, Santush found uh -huh. us. Sorry. There, we're back on, but uh, we apologize for that. Um, so there's a spotlight program called Saying Sorry. <laughs> it's about asking for forgiveness. So we... Um, we'll see. We'll give people a second to get back on. Um, Oh, Welcome man. back. Thank you for joining us. I won't touch anything anymore to break it. Uh, Chun Li Vin asks, what is the best activities we should do in quarantine? That's I, a good question. I have asked, um, so here is my answer to that question. And I, I, it's actually several. One, each day I say, what is one thing I can do to take care of me? Maybe that's Good. to take a nap uh, or to go for a walk. The second question is, what is one thing I can do for the people around me, which is my family? And then what is one thing I can do to help my community? So many businesses or companies or um, not, prof not for profit organizations are really hurting. So if I can make a donation if I can just write an encouraging letter or an email, that's what I try to do. And that just makes me feel um, good, like I'm like I'm helpful. Yeah. What about you, Liz? Anything really smart. Anything you have an answer to that? What to what to do? Activities? Um well those are really good. I like those. Maybe <laughs> I will start doing those. Um, I was going to say I think that for me, making something mm. has been really healthy for me. So um, I am not really good at painting or or like that sort of thing. But for me, making the masks has has made me feel helpful. Like I'm yeah. doing something for other people, and that I'm doing something that not everyone can do. So I think making something is really good. Um, the other thing is I was going to say, uh, practice your English. That's one yeah. thing you can do. Yeah, there you um, go. We have lots of programs and, um, yeah, maybe we need to do this live session more and maybe on one day we, we have just questions that people ask us about English Ooh, or, that would be good. We, Liz and I love doing these programs and, uh, we, if we had more time, one of the reasons we're trying to ask for support on a, a thing like Patreon is we want to be able to do more of this, this yes. kind of thing and provide you um, with what you need. So, uh, Prasant Kumar says, this is a very good platform for learning English. Why is this, is, why are the subscribers very low? I expected 10 million subscribers. <laughs> well, uh... Tell your friends. Tell your friends about us to, to, to subscribe. Um, we are just a very small operation. And um, the more subscribers we get, the more successful we will be. So, right. so and maybe yeah. that's a great way if someone can't support us with Patreon, just letting people know about it. That's wonderful. We love that. We need all the yeah. help we can get. Um, Katie says, in the UK, we go to our doors at 8 p.m. every Thursday and clap and ring bells to say thank you to the doctors and nurses and other key workers who put themselves in harm's way to care for us. That's so, wonderful. wow, that's, 
that's really cool. So it's a way for everyone to participate, make a noise. Yep. Say thank um, you. To say thank you. So yeah, that's a that's a good idea. Maybe that should be our challenge to everyone watching is find someone to say thank you to today. And if you can't do it in person, find a creative way. Make a noise, uh, sing a song, send an email just to say thank you. Yeah. Um, not to us. I'm not asking you to thank us. We are getting, yeah, we are getting to the end of our time. It's passed really fast. Um, first of all, I would encourage you to visit our Patreon page. Uh, we still need a first, uh, a first patron. We still have zero. So that would be really great. Um, and, uh, Second of all, we have not given time for people to ask us questions, okay. which we normally do. So maybe for the next five minutes. Yeah, sounds good. If anybody has no. any questions for either Liz or myself. some Ricardo says, how long is it necessary to become fluent in English? Ooh, that is a good question. Well... I know that um, if you want really fluent, meaning you know everything there is to know in English, uh, it takes a long time. That there are probably <laughs> a million words in the English language, but average spe people speaking, there's only about 15,000. So if you learn a word a day... Could take a couple years. Yeah. Do you think that it's the um, the ten thousand hours rule? Could be. I think. You know. So so the theory is that to become an is it an expert in anything? Yeah. You need to put in ten thousand hours. Yeah. Of um, whatever it is. Yeah. So uh, yeah, maybe it's ten thousand hours. More time than you think, probably. Yeah, yeah, it is true. But you don't need to be fluent right. to communicate. No, and so. speaking, you can communicate with your body in a way that writing is probably the the most difficult. Reading a new language will come first, then speaking, then writing. Any other qu yes. qu questions uh, coming up, Mister Mister Romeo? Uh, responds. What I think in this case is that you keep learning, listening, do hard work on it, what you want, really. Yes, that is it. Like, it's being dedicated. That's a good word, I yes. think. Dedication. Uh, dedicated and just continuing. Even yeah. with mistakes, even when it's hard, just continuing. Yep. You got to keep moving forward. All right. Well, wait. Oh, we have a new member says, uh, hi, I'm ready. I'm new member for you. Well, welcome. Well, we have subscribe. A, we have an excellent and, uh, question uh, tell that says, what is the difference between watching a movie with subtitles or watching Spotlight? Um, oh. Liz, you probably could answer that as far as like why Spotlight a spotlight program is going to be different than the words someone might hear on a movie or a television show. Uh, well, in spotlight, we have a word list that most of our words that we use in the program come from. That was a very complicated way of saying we use about 1500 words in our programs. Right. Um, and they are, they are common words and simpler words. Um, and we write in a simple way. So not, not like a kid writes, but we, we write in uh, clearer sentences mm -hmm. and shorter sentences so that the meaning is clear. But in a movie, I would imagine that they're using slang and um, just a, a bigger variety of words. So yeah. 
Yeah, so that is different. That will be more conversational, whereas Spotlight is more um, practice oriented. Right. That's a good answer. Um, so, oh, good. Yeah. Maria <laughs> uh, Lopez says, how can you help me? Because I stopped at an intermediate level. If you would like to challenge yourself, I would push towards the Spotlight Advanced which you can find on yes. YouTube or in a as a podcast, wherever you get your podcast. These are uh, faster. And if you don't know if you're ready for Spotlight Advanced, you can listen to the same program in on both speeds. So this is a faster yeah. version of the Spotlight program. So it's still not conversational. It's the same words, but you can train your ear to listen to um, a more conversational speed. So it's the next step above Spotlight, but it's still one step below um, like normal English speaking, which is, I think it's good, it's helpful. Yeah. Well, we have, not, right. we have not been able to answer all your questions. We will try. Uh, if you know the answer to someone's question, feel free to respond in the comments. Um, as yeah. always, we enjoy uh, getting a chance to connect with you. We hope you're staying safe and healthy and um, yeah. being well. Yeah. And Liz, I'll say to you, hopefully the next one of these will be together and uh, things won't crash and we'll be having yeah. lots of it fun. It will not be bootleg. <laughs> it and will I not be have bootleg. An echo. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting us. Um, we would not be here without you. So, well said. Thank you. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Yeah. Bye. Bye. We'll see you next time.